preempt them a little bit. He had the idea, his group had the idea, and they instigated this candidates forum that just happened. I think that's what he's gonna talk about. And again, earlier I said there are some people who say and some people who do, and he had the vision to do it. He came to MASC, Midwest Alliance of Sovereign Tribes. We were the first organization to pass a resolution of support. And so he'll come up and tell us what's in front of us and how we, Indian people, can make the difference and how we can determine the outcome of this election. Okay. Hey, Good morning. Uh, my name is O.J. Seaman. I'm the co-executive director of Four Directions, along with my wife, Barb. Uh, I want to thank uh, National Congress of American Indians for giving me this opportunity to talk to you about such an important thing that's coming up in 2020. Kind of leading up to it, I want to talk to you a little bit about what happened back in August in Sioux City, Iowa. Uh, we were able to uh, pull something off that shouldn't have happened. Uh, we had a presidential forum in which we did nonpartisan, we invited all the parties. We had 11 candidates show up. Um, that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the tribal leaders in the seven battleground states, if it wasn't for the tribal leaders in the other states saying we need to make this happen. Um, it was historic, you know, one of the things we, we tell people is only one's gonna be nominated, but the way the political system of those 11 candidates that happened you're probably also looking at the future cabinet members. So each and every panel that we had uh, was very important. Uh, we had uh, worldwide coverage. I mean, we had New York Times, Washington Post, ABC, NBC, CBS, NBC, even Fox News showed up. So um, one of the things that I, I want to bring to your attention again is uh, National Congress of American Indians, uh, Native American Rights Fund, Four Directions, uh, it will also be the, the Nevada tribes uh, are going to be co-hosting a second presidential forum in Las Vegas, Nevada on January 24th and uh, 25th. Uh, we have teamed up with the University of Las Vegas uh, and that's where the, the venue is going to be. Um, in order to do that though, we really had to have a lot of help. NCI was really helpful in this. In Nevada, moving into it, we learned from what happened in Sioux City. Uh, you know, I'd like to uh, um, thank uh, Chairwoman uh, Amber Torres and uh, Councilwoman uh, Janet Davis uh, and the Executive Director for Native, American, uh, Native Indian Commission, uh, Stacy Montooth, for helping get this thing moving and, and making it historical. <coughs> we did this for a couple of reasons, but the main reasons we wanted our issue, not the issues of the general people in the United States, our issues, our treaties and our sovereignty. We wanted these candidates to know what those were. Some of them didn't, but what happened was is they learned. We got more native policy written, even just recently written by, by Senator Harris, because we brought the issue to them. And it wasn't a I got you moment, it was we'll teach you a moment. And that's what we're gonna do again, it is to teach them. I don't have that much more time, but I want to just cover a few more things. First of all, 2020 is going to be very important for Indian country. We don't take and in, in, uh, not get a candidate elected because we vote for them. We get a candidate not elected because we don't vote. We need to take and increase our voter registration throughout Indian country. But if you notice there, there's seven key battleground states. These are the exact states that went and flipped the 2016 election. And in Minnesota, they're saying, ah, Minnesota, uh, Hillary Clinton at that time only took it by less than two percentage points. But when we looked at it, we saw that the population in each and every one of these states has the same amount of numbers, if not equal, exceeding what the turnout vote was in 2016. So if we are going to make a difference and do what we always do, uh, lead this country. We need to really look at increasing voter registration. We need to take and look at tribal leaders reaching out to the state election or county election officials asking to have our tribal members on those election boards be the poll watchers. Voter suppression doesn't start where we have to drive 100 miles. 
voter suppression can be the distance between this desk and that poll watcher. And if we have our people there, then our people are gonna feel comfortable uh, voting. So in closing, here's what I wanna leave you with. We as a nation united can change the nation, our nation in 2020. What we do is we use our seven generations, we look at these seven states, and we take those 77 electoral votes. We, as a nation, can create a better nation, so thank you.